So basically, enlisted is. Ba uh, I keep saying basically. Enlisted is essentially. Ah, I mixed it up this time. Uh, War Thunder, but with infantry. So you can micromanage your infantry squads. Or you can, you know, pick who has. We have the. So I don't know if you guys are familiar. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, gotcha games. It's sort of like those Japanese little like uh, vending machines with characters or whatever inside. Yeah, it's a uh, vending machine collectible game. I guess. I guess it's a game uh, where essentially you get different characters and you know there's different rarity between the characters. You get those characters uh, in gotcha games. Uh, they're very popular in mobile game. You get. Rank 1 to 5 troopers, you level them up uh, to their max level. Their max level is dependent upon what rank they are. So this guy is rank 2, his max level is 2. This guy is rank 4, his max level is 4. You take 3 of the same, 3 guys who are the same rank, who are their current max level. You transmute them into 1 guy who is 1 rank above. You grind them out to his max level, you do rinse, repeat, all the way up to tier 5. And ta-da! So, tier 1 is 5 minutes, tier 2 is 2 hours, tier 3, 4 hours, uh, tier 4 is 6 hours, and tier 5 is 8 hours. So, it just depends on how long. Uh, you don't have to do all of the same type. Uh, so, if I do 3 Assaulters rank 1, for instance, I will get an Assaulter rank 2, guaranteed. If I do 2 rank 1 Assaulters and 1 AT guy, uh, there's a chance between me getting... 33% chance for me getting a bomber class, which is the anti-tank class, basically, and a 66% chance of me getting an assaulter. So what I just did was I got four or three rank four guys. Two of them were engineers, and one of them was a trooper, basically a throwaway unit, and I got the fucking trooper. Yay! I don't believe it's limited to just two of. You can have three different classes if you wanted, I guess if you're a masochist, or just don't care what you get, you know, it's equal chance of getting whatever type of class. It's rather interesting. I enjoy it. I believe the game is currently in closed beta test. In order to get access, you got to buy a premium pack, which is 30 bucks. This is the smallest pack you can get that gives you instant access to the game. You can buy both of the available packs for a 20% discount on the Gaijin stores, like 50 something bucks. You get both a German and a Russian premium squad. Uh, the progression is not shared between factions, and there's f five different sort of s battle pass sets. If you're familiar with, you know, Fortnite and the way the fucking system they created. Uh, as you level up, you get new toys, right? You get you level up by doing... Oh, I'm talking about the fucking game, hold on. Uh, as you level up, you get new toys, you get new stuff, you get to do new things. Progression is not shared. I'm rank si level 16 with Germany, rank fucking zero with allies, so... I have no fancy toys with the Russians, but I get all most of the fancy stuff with the Germans, so... Tanks, planes... Uh, infantry, all that fun stuff. Let's go, baby. Hold on. I'm talking about the game. I don't care. I care. Not everybody knows. Uh, I believe it is Battle of Moscow, which is what we're currently playing. Basically, early war, Russians versus Germans. So there's no Panzerfaust, no Panzer IV. Currently, no Panzer IVs, at least. Um... No tigers. Uh, so you can choose how many grenades, how many medkits, how many weapons. You don't really choose the ammo currently. Uh, that's kind of shitty. Everybody gets the same ammo. You can get perks that can give you increased ammo. Like there's one perk that gives you 100% more ammo for your main weapon. Your main weapon is classified as whatever is in your primary weapon slot. So number one. And that is a first person shooter. If you ever played any first person shooter in the last uh, 10 fucking 20 fucking years when the FPS has first come out. Uh, you'll be familiar with the controls, WSAD move, all that fun stuff, left click, uh, left click shoot, right click aim. So there's two game modes, uh, this one is invasion, where the, there's an attacker and a defender, and the attackers have to attack, has the name attacker. There's typically five objective points, I can't see anything, but it's gonna shoot just because. Uh, the attackers have to capture one point after another. If they capture all the points, they instantly win. Uh, the defenders have infinite respawns. The attackers have a thousand spawn tickets, so that guy is worth one ticket. Every person is worth one ticket. Fuck you. So, you'll notice right now, a bunch of Germans have already died, but the ticket counter isn't going down. The counter doesn't go down unless it, somebody respawns. So when you respawn, it's when you, take your, it's when you lose your ticket. Your tickets. 
The max spawns, Bro, the max squad size. Easy mod. The max squad size is seven people. Me, Fuck you, get a better hidey hole. This is my alleyway. Aww. My kill zone. This is my kill zone. Not according to my kills. There's somebody over here. Maybe. Kills. Every, in, every person in the game has three squads. Uh, or four squads. Four, three of them are infantry squads, and one of them is a vehicle squad. So that could be a tank, uh, a fighter plane, an attack plane. That's really it. Uh, that's all we have access to right now. Uh, there's different classes. You have engineers, which can build things. You have troopers, which are just fucking grunts. Their job is to die, so the important people don't. The bomber class is the anti-tank class. Trooper, trooper, trooper. Oh, my engineer is bleeding. Please, no. I need him alive. Please don't. No. Don't sh No. Stop. Don't shoot me. It's rude. You can revive yourself. You can also order your squad to do things. It's pretty basic right now. Engineer gets a hammer. He can build like, fucking pack guns, flak guns, machine guns, many guns he can build. He can also build the very, very, very po important rally point, which is the forward spawn point. Uh, one person can spawn on it once every, I think, 20 seconds. All right, squad. I can also also order your squad to do things. So I told them to go over there on that objective. So they're going to attack the objective. They're going to come in from multiple different angles. And then they're going to take defensive positions inside the objective all automatically. Just with the simple push of a button. I believe this is also coming out on Xbox. Forty-one Battle Moscow. They never actually made it to Moscow. They, they, they got within, you know, you could see the the Kremlin with binoculars apparently, uh, but that's about it. They couldn't, they didn't actually fight in Moscow. So it's a little misleading. People think, oh shit, they were fighting in Red Square. They, ow, they weren't. They were just like a couple of suburbs out, villages out from Moscow. It was with, I believe it was within artillery range. The heavy artillery, at least. That was a, I mean, fuck. If I was the Germans, I'd just start bombing Moscow just because. Fuck them. Why not?